What's going on YouTube? We are back with another episode and today we're gonna to be doing a little test. I'm trying out a new golf ball. Here we go. So the golf ball we are trying today is the Bridgestone Tour BX. Now I have tried the Tour BXS and I have played it a ton and had a lot of success with it. Switched recently back to the TP5X because honestly that is probably one of my favorite balls ever. I putt so well with it. I love the feel of that. Off the driver it is absolutely nuts. However, I just miss just a little bit more spin. I just would love just a touch more spin and that ball would be perfect. Now you're probably going, well Gabe, why don't you go play the TP5? I don't know, the TP5 just doesn't work for me for some reason. I tried it a couple times, it just doesn't seem to jive with the feel I'm looking for. I thought, you know what? I really like the BXS. The Tour BX is supposed to be, the, you know, the longer kind of more bashful version of the XS. Bryson seems to be doing well with it. Let's put it through some paces today, see how it stacks up against what I'm used to and if it makes the cut. We're just gonna roll a couple putts here and see, see how this feels. Honestly, in terms of feel, they definitely have that signature like Bridgestone softness that I like from the BXS, but definitely a touch more of that click that I like from the TP5X. So th there could be a happy marriage here. Let's try some chips and just see how the reaction is with the green on those. So far in the short game area, honestly, the ball's doing really well. It seems to pair really nicely uh, with the insert on my putter face, which I like. The feel is really good. So let's take it to the practice hole right now. And we're just gonna hit some bunker shots and we're gonna hit some like short approaches, see what the spin is like on those control shots. Cause that's really what I'm trying to improve on here. All right, this is a perfect example of a shot right here where I need that extra spin. I got 20 yards to this pin. Now beyond the pin, there's a down slope. So I have to stop it before this pin or you know, at most, you know, three yards past the pin in order to stay on that ridge. If not, I have then a brutal putt back up the hill and I'm probably not gonna get up and down. So that's where this ball is gonna come into play the most. Alright, so pretty good result. We have three makeable putts. We kept it in the area. We didn't let it roll down this hill. Really can't ask for more than that. That's that's the whole point. Alright, we're gonna try this little 20 yard shot again, but we're gonna do three shots with the Bridgestones, three shots with the TP5Xs. And just gonna see what our dispersion's like. So first up we got the TP5Xs. So not bad. We have two closest Bridgestone TP5X. We've got another Bridgestone right here. We got a Bridgestone and a TP5 here. But here's the one that kills me. And it's this lone TP5X that kind of rolled out a little more. It wasn't necessarily a bad strike. It just didn't have enough bite to slow it down. So, you know, that's a tougher putt. Whereas everything else over here, that's all makeable. We're getting up and down no problem. So that's kind of the outlier and this is what I'm looking to fix. That's the big clincher right there, that shot. One thing I felt while I was hitting the shots is I could be more aggressive with the Bridgestone because I knew it was gonna get some play on the spin and, and actually work with the green a bit. And I like being able to express that creativity, which I can't really get out of the TP5X. So I love, love, love it. But so far this test is holding up well. That shot ex is exactly the reason why I'm experimenting in the first place. So did a little bunker test here, just 
just to see hit a great shot out of the bunker i i'm not really concerned about spin out of the bunkers i i actually don't have a problem spinning it out of the bunker even with the tp5x so that wasn't an extra thing if anything now i'm gonna get a little more and can maybe play slopes a little better get some backspin on on certain pins wear and tear on the cover you know this is just from the practice shots so far and as you can see like this is taking a decent amount of a beating and i don't know that i don't know that, what that rates on a durability factor but it's not the best all right right here on the course now we're gonna play you know a couple holes with the ball just to see how we do uh we have a 350 yard par four and uh, we're just gonna send one and see what happens. All right, we got 60 yards to the pin, a little 60 degree wedge. Let's see if we can throw it close. All right, nice little bit of spin on that chip. Didn't have my alignment great, but we got out of there with a par. I gotta work on my distance control a little bit, obviously with the wedges, but so far so good. All right, one final hole in our test here. GE, a short little par four. We're gonna lay up with a five iron, and then we'll have a good wedge shot in to really test, you know, again, the spin of the ball. Four yarder here. Just gonna throw a 60 degree and see if we get the magic we're looking for. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Set ourselves up three and a half feet. Honestly, more looks at birdie. It can't hurt. All right. Well, I think all signs point to positive results here. I am very very glad I took the time to test this. And I honestly think this is gonna go into the bag. We're gonna keep testing it. Obviously I have plenty of time this winter to evaluate which tools are gonna to be the best for me to compete next season. But this is definitely a leading candidate right now in the ball category. And uh, I don't know, we will see. All right, before I wrap this up, we gotta hit at least one more wedge shot. So we got 70 yards to the flag here, front pin, uh, green slopes back to front a little bit. So again, another perfect shot where you know, I, this is where I need to score. This is where I'm losing shots, right here. So, let's see if this helps. I think we're a little deep, but it's good. Wow. That's how you end it. Well. <laughs> I think this is going in the bag now. Well, if I'm gonna drain them like that, I think this has to go into the bag. Crazy. Okay, uh, yeah, what a great day of testing. So pumped with the results. Really glad I chose to test this out. I think this might be going into the bag for sure. Um, we're just gonna keep playing and you will see as my off season progresses, if it stays or not, but honestly, really pumped thus far. So, wow. Anyway, if you haven't tried the Tour BX, highly recommend it. And if you do, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments below what ball you're playing. And yeah, guys, hope you have a great day. I'm going to go keep playing golf. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.